Hi. Hi. You hear me? Yes, I can hear you. Good evening. Good evening there, Daniel. At your side. How are you? Good. Good. Okay. Yes. Um you're in front of your piano already? Yes. Ah, I see. Yeah. I tried to. That's okay, it's okay. Can you see him? Yes, but okay. All right. How's your practice? Good. Good. Okay, let's go back to our lesson. So last time I let you do 31 to 35, right? Yes. Yes. Okay, let's go back there, okay? Okay. Now well, let us play. All right. Let me let me hear you play first. Okay, are you ready? Oh, okay. Okay, play when you're ready. Okay. <laughs> Good. A friend like you. Are you ready? Okay, and this one, you might remember that uh, on when you repeat the second time around, uh, you have to lower your left hand one octave, right? Yes. Okay. Go. A repeat sign okay wait long one more time i want you to go back again so from the beginning i want you have to do the repeat okay then on the repeat you have to lower your left hand one octave okay so instead of this instead of this you have to do it lower okay one more time Wait, 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 wait. At the second time, at the second time, that's the that's the one you have to lower your right, left hand. Okay, go back. I want you to do the uh I want you to do do the whole thing. So uh go back at the beginning. So the normal, you're in the normal one. Okay, go. Go. Repeat. OK. 
Okay, good job. Okay, don't rush, okay? Next, G position. One more time. Go back from. You have to do your left hand also here. Can you can you hear me properly? Yes. Is my volume okay? Yes. All right. One more time. You do your left hand here, ah. Huh? That's three counts, okay? So that's the part where the donkey, <laughs> the donkey is. Okay, ready? One more time. Two, three, four. Okay, good job. <clears throat> so this song actually can be played as a round song for two, okay, to four pianos. Okay, you, you can play this song, The Donkey, uh, with three other piano, okay, with three other pianists, okay. Uh, that that is called a round song. Okay, the second piano begins after the first has played four measures. So when you say four measures, after one, two, three, four, after this measure, after this measure, that's the time the second pianist will play from the beginning. Do you know? Do uh, do you have an idea what a round song is? What? Round song. Do you know what a round song is? Uh, have you heard of that one? Have you heard about uh have have you heard have you heard how round song goes? No. Not yet. Okay, I want you to listen to this one. Maybe the song goes around. <laughs> well, yes, it goes around, but you have to play all together while doing the different parts of the song. Listen to this one. Uh. It's very interesting because it will challenge your, um, your playing and your counting. Is my piano, is my piano loud? It's fine, it's fine. Okay, let's say, wait. Piano na lang. Okay, this one is an example of a round song or um, basically how a round song goes. Okay, listen to this one. We want to by the way. Okay, just ready, go. Let us 
Alright, there you go. That's our that's an example of a round song. Okay. So when you do that one, it's better to do it with more than what of course more than two or three. Okay. Have you done that one? Not yet. Row, row, row your boat. That's a big example. Eh? Row, row, row your boat. Then after the first part, the second one will uh sing or play the part round song are you sleeping this one okay. listen to this one this, this is also an example so it's uh it's fun with uh are you sleeping are you sleeping brother john brother john morning bells are ringing morning bells are ringing ding dang dong <laughs> Ding dang dong. Are ding dong. Sleeping, are you sleeping? Brother dog, brother dog. Morning bells are ringing, morning bells are ringing. Ding dang dong, ding dang dong. Are you sleeping? Are you sleeping? Okay, there you go. So same thing. Brother dog, morning bells are ringing. Morning bells are ringing. There's the third one. Anyway, okay, so it's fun when you play it together. This one is a big round, round song. I mean, oh, oh. You get this one. But you're not sure where to start. No. Round and round. Wait, let's let's try to watch this one. Last one. I'm scared. What if it gets too loud? In this excerpt, students are singing the beautiful song oh! round and round. They first sing in unison before moving into different types of canon. The students then clap an unrelated yeah. rhythm. From this the is fun. This is more fun. Song. No, I don't want to hear it. Why? <laughs> Because they have, they are more than, I think they're more than 11. I think they're going to clap. It's a good exercise. So this one is also anyway. It's too long. Let's go back to our book. Okay, that's what a round song goes. Okay, so in this song, in this piece, the donkey, you can play this with for piano. But what you're gonna do is after after you play the first four measures, one, two, three, four, that's the time where the second pianist will play the first measure. Then the first pianist will just keep on playing and playing their part. Then the third pianist will play. It's 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 a round. Um, how, how do you call this? Well, it's a round song. Okay, but you, you can't play together with the first measure. You have to uh, follow the cue. Okay, so anyway, you can do that also by singing. Okay, let's go here. The sharp sign. Are you ready? Yes. Can you remember your sharp sign? Okay. It's not a hashtag. Huh? It's not hashtag. It's sharp in music. Yeah, it's not, it's not a bad word. Okay. It's not hashtag. We call it sharp. It's not a hashtag. I know. <laughs> yes. Okay, are you ready? Okay. Can you play this for me.
Good job. Let's go here. So you have a uh, chords already. G major and the D7 chord. Okay. So this is for your left hand first. <clears throat> okay, let's go directly to this song. Okay, did you practice this? This one that uh this one was the last page we had. Are you ready? Can you play this for me? This is in three four. Good job, that was so fast. <laughs> okay, but it was correct. Okay, now this will be for our right hand. Same chord. Okay. Wait, so One, three, five. Point melody. What was that? Sorry. Uh, point melody. That's the next song I'm going to play. Yes. Your melody will be played on your left hand. See that? Okay, can you please play first this chord on your right hand? Go. Practice first on your right hand. G. Right hand. Right hand only. Okay, let's go back. G. D7. Yes. Okay. So we're ready for our block chords and broken chords. Okay. So when all three notes of a chord are played together, it is called a block chord. Okay. When you play it together, block chord. When the three notes of a chord are played separately, it is called a broken chord. Okay, basically, it, you just you just break down the notes inside this chord. Okay, so instead of playing them together, you play it individually. Okay, so that's what you call a broken and a broken and block chord. Okay, you understand? All right. The damper pedal. Okay, have you seen one in piano? Have you seen one on uh, acoustic pianos? What? Pedal. Pedals. Have you seen one? That there is pedals on piano. Yeah, I don't well, have. If you have, if you have uh, actually in electronic pianos, uh, you can actually, uh, uh, you can actually connect uh pedal okay you can you can connect a pedal on it uh to sustain okay so the damper pedal uh in acoustic pianos the right this one the right pedal is called the damper pedal when you hold this damper pedal down any tone you sound will continue after after you release the key so when you are uh uh when you press this one, the right, the right pedal, huh? the right pedal, even if you remove your hand, even if you remove your hand, the, the sound will still be there. Okay, so that is our damper pedal. It sustains, it sustains the sound of your piano. Okay, same thing in ele electronic piano. Okay, have you seen one? What? Have you seen one? Have you I seen see a one. pedal? Uh, yeah. How about an electronic pianos? Yeah, I oh, have one. Yeah. You, you have one? Do you have one? The cool thing about my piano that you can change the color tone like this. Yes. Yes, you can because that's an electronic piano. Okay, so in acoustic pianos, 
there are usually uh, three pedals. See that? Okay, What's so it's also length? important. What, sorry? What was that? What's the middle one and the left one? Okay, let's watch this one. So, so uh, the middle one actually is... <clears throat> Yeah. The middle one gives you a softer tone. Do you come in too early, too late, or are you just not really sure? Is this change the pedal when the chords change on the music? Now, the most Wait. common mistake. This is a wrong one. Okay, so the middle the middle pedal is giving you a softer tone. Okay. All right. It it softens your the sound of your piano in acoustic pianos. The the, the right the right pedal will give you sustain. This one will, will give you softer. Softer tone, okay. That's the usual. That's the usual pedals on your acoustic piano. So it's important also because it gives you different flavors. Okay, this one. Let's watch this. Welcome to Cunningham Piano. I'm Hugh Sung. In this video, I'm going to answer the question, what do the pedals on a piano do? Now, depending on the keyboard or piano that you have, you'll find anywhere from one to three pedals mm -hmm. that you operate with your foot. And they all have different functions. So let's start off with the pedal that is most commonly used on acoustic pianos. It'll always okay. be the pedal. On when you the say acoustic, you don't need electricity for it. Keyboard, okay. So this is an acoustic piano. One pedal, it'll always be this pedal. It's called either a damper pedal or, or a sustain, sustain pedal. OK, remember that thing. one, sustain or damper Names pedal. are synonymous with their functions. OK, so let's take a look at the damper or sustain. Pedal. Okay, listen to this one. The damper pedal or the sustain look. pedal controls these pieces of wood with that's the inside of the piano on top of each string every key has a damper that's connected to it all right when i play a note on the piano when i push down a key that yeah. lifts up the corresponding damper when i let go of this note with my finger the damper comes back down and stops See, the so sound. the piano has this damper every note will have its own damper to control when it sounds and when the sound is released. Now, when I push the damper pedal down, this is the damper notice pedal. All of the dampers come up all at once. Did you notice that one? It went up. Spring. When I play the keys and keep my foot on that damper pedal down, the keys will continue to ring until mm -hmm. I let go of the pedal and the dampers come back down. Okay. Do you understand how it works? From vibrate. Okay. Yeah. It's a great way to keep this one. What does that second pedal do? This well, one is the second pedal. pedal. Always be to the furthest left. And that pedal is the soft pedal or an una corda. Soft what is pedal. Una corda? Well, again, the name kind of is synonymous. The soft pedal makes the piano or keyboard sound softer. Let's take a look and see <coughs> how this works. When I push down the soft pedal or the una corda, look carefully. You may miss this. I'm going to push the pedal down. Did you see that? Did you see the keys shifting slightly to the left? What this is doing is moving to the, the right over. And if you'll notice, you have three strings for each key or each note. By moving the action. Wait, I want to see that again. You want to see it again? One more. Una corda, or moving the hammers over. So instead of striking all three of these strings, you only strike one of the strings. Hence the name una corda, or you see as an abbreviation. So here's the sound of the piano played normally. Now I'm going to push the una corda pedal down. 
Notice everything moves slightly to the right. And you hear it's slightly softer. Softer. That's what one variation. More. So you only strike one. Okay. Yeah. Oh, one more, one more. Let's. No. You'll notice you have three. This is doing. Oh, closely, okay? Now. Closely. Did you, Did you notice that one? Did you see the key? One more, one more. You missed this. I'm going to push the pedal down. Did you see that? Did you saw that? Did you see the keys? <laughs> it really moves. Slightly to the left. What this is <laughs> to the right. Is moving the action. Anyway. Okay, so it that, is, those, it's to the right. Yeah, it's it's to the right. He actually he put the correction on in his video. Anyway, so since you don't have a pedal, we can practice this. But uh, when you do this song with your pedal, okay, with your pedal, since the title is harp. This song will actually sound a bit like a harp. Do you know what a harp instrument is? Have you uh, seen yeah. a harp? No. Have you seen a harp? Danielle? Uh, yes. Yes. You know what a harp is? It's a string instrument. Okay. So in pedal, this sign means pedal down. Look here, uh, pedal down. Then ped hold your pedal until on this one, you have to do it. Uh, you have to pedal up. Okay, you have to release your pedal. So pedal, since this one is a damper pedal, okay, so it sustains the notes until here. So all of this note will actually sound like there's still not not like that it will sound it will sound until in this part okay it will sound like a harp instrument okay so since we can't do that we can't do that that kind of sounds because you don't have a pedal i want you i'm going to try to look for that okay i'm going to try to look for that Piece. Harp song. This one. Okay. So you will know how it's it how it's supposed to sound. Listen to this one. Uh. I want using Alfred's adult. Okay. You're in pedal on this one. See, the sound is still there, it's sustained. Dum. What happens if I push two buttons at the same time? What buttons? Like the pedals at the same time. Then you will have both. You will have a softer, softer tone, then you will sustain also the, the, the tone, your notes. Mm -hmm. You can do that. Did you notice it was softer now? This one is louder. Okay, so he's playing now. He's playing this one an octave higher. Okay, also play harp song in the following ways. Play the third and fourth measures of each line one octave higher. Just like what you did on the song, uh, the donkey. The donkey. Anyway, but this will be on your right hand. Okay. Uh, one octave higher. Okay. Even if we don't have a, a damper pedal, I still want you to play this one. Are you ready? Are you ready? Okay. okay, so you are on what position? What position? What do you call this position? G position. G position, good. All right, are you ready? Good. 
Wait, wait, wait. We're not gonna play that that part yet. <laughs> not the higher one first. This one muna. The the normal one first. Okay. So what do you call wait wait I have a question what do you call this chord again What do you call this chord I mean chord What do you oh, call yeah. this chord uh -huh. Um wait chord Wait yeah, it's, 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 it's a G chord but uh is it a broken or block chord It's a, a block it, why, why is it block Why is it block? Is it block? No. No? Then it's a broken chord. <laughs> yes. <laughs> it's a broken chord because you played the chord in the G Okay? The G chord. One more time. One more time from the start. Go. Do the normal first. F sharp on your left hand. F sharp. Wait. Make sure F sharp. F sharp. F sharp. It should be sharp. Yes. Okay. One more. F. And what note? F. C. B. Go. Go. F, C, D, F, C. F, C, and D. One more time. B7 is F, C, D, right? Mm, what happened? Go back on your left hand first. Do the, the D7 chord. Okay, I'm chord. Mm -hmm. One more. F sharp. C. No, 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 no. That, those are wrong notes. F sharp, C, and D. Go. That Those are your broken D7. Wrong, wrong notes. Do it with your left hand only, this part. Left hand only. F sharp, C, D. There you go, right hand. Right hand. F sharp, C, D again. Mm -hmm. There you go, one more time. Left hand. There you go. Go back to G. Oh. You get it now? <laughs> One more time. Look at your chords. <laughs> Okay, so you are playing the D7 and G chord by broken chord, okay? So broken chord, individual notes, but same chord with, okay, same chords, yeah, I mean, same notes, okay, I understand. Okay, harp. How does a harp sound like? Have you seen a harp player? Oh, uh, yeah. Have you seen one? Do you know that a harp has a pedal also? Oh, this one. I want you to watch this. This is a very, very good player. Of, and it's, it's only a little girl. Wait, let's listen to this one.
Can you hear it? Look at this look at this little girl. Notice later, look at her foot. He is, uh, she is stepping on, on her pedals. So, a harp also has three pedals, I think so. It's also to sustain. Okay, damper pedal to sustain and soften the notes. Okay, wait. Oh, I, I see this first. What was that? Sorry. I only see pictures on my screen. Yeah, wait. Pictures only? Is, is it not a video? No, like, oh no. Your YouTube is logging a bit, so I'm saying. Okay. Okay, duh. I want you to. They're not focusing on his, on her. Look at his foot. Her foot. There's a pedal. Okay. Anyway, that is a harp. Okay. So, there is actually a instrument that is a combination of a harp and a piano. Do you know that one? What? Harpsichord. Do you know what a harpsichord is? No. Okay. What is? What? Sorry. Hey, it's a harpsichord. Yeah, a harpsichord. Yeah, it also has like two, like yes, two, two layers. And also a harpsichord. A harpsichord is, uh, plucked. Okay, pluck. So there is a pick inside that piano. So it sound it, it actually sounds different from a piano. Welcome to Libby Piano Stock. So it's like a violin, like when you no, like no, not violin, because violin is not plucked. Violin is uh you, you use a bow for violin. Can you hear him? Earlier than the folk, the two wait it's the harpsichord for uh, and then put this stop on or in this case this one even has pedals which is very unusual for a harpsichord but if i wait, play that he's all talking i want you to watch a nice video for this one okay and ah. harpsichord is and harpsichord uh, was uh an instrument in 18th century so that is how it sound like. Okay, so those are the popular songs of Mozart. Have you heard about Mozart? He's a yeah. very good pianist from the 18th century. Okay. Wait, now, what? what? Sorry. No, sorry. What was um, that? No, the power keeps getting off my chair. Okay. Let's go to this page. Introducing E on your left hand. So we are now on our G position. Our first finger on our left hand will play E. Okay, using your first finger. Now you need to, what you need to do is to extend, extend your first finger on your left hand so you can play E. 
So G, A, B, C, D, E will be your notes on this one. Okay. Are you ready? So G, G, B, D. Then G, C, E. One more time. G, B, D, and G, C, E. Are you ready? Can you play this one, please? On your left hand. Left hand. Where's your left hand? Yes. Good job. Okay. Okay, this one, so G, C, G, B, D was a broken chord for G major chord, right? How about the G, C, E? What chord is this? That chord actually is a C major chord. Can you remember your C major chord? Uh, what? C major chord. Can you remember? Yeah. Can you play for me? Yes, good job. Now, this is a new position of the C major, Danielle. This is a new position for the C major. This broken chord, C, uh, I mean G, C, E, is a new position for the C major chord. Okay? Now, in this position, you are on the G position and you will have a C major chord. Do you understand? Yes. Okay. So when you play this, same three notes in any order, you will still have a C major chord. So what are the notes inside the C major chord? C, E, and G. Yes. You can play, you can play this notes in any order. You can play it on G, C, E, or E, G, C. It will be the same chord. Do you understand? So it means it's 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 like actually um, cooking something. So when do you know what adobo is? Do you know what adobo is? Adobo. Uh, yes. Adobo. 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 Yeah. Like chicken adobo. Okay. So the the logic here goes. Uh, it goes like even if you cook adobo. Uh, even if you cook adobo with you first do the you first put the chicken or you first put the the uh, the soy sauce or anything as long as it is you, you have the same ingredients it will be still an adobo <laughs> okay even if you put the chicken first or even if you put the soy sauce first or the garlic first anything will do as long as it will still have the same notes or in adobo as long as it have the same ingredients it will still be adobo in this one as long as ceg is there in any order it will be the same chord okay so this one applies it applies in any chords Okay, so if you do this G major chord in any order, the B, if you do uh, G, B, D in any order, you, you, you can do it B, D, G or D, uh, D, G, B. It will still be a G major chord. Okay, but you have to make sure that uh, you have to make sure that it will be the same notes. Okay, but uh, if you will press... A different note, it will not be a G major chord. Okay? okay. So why is this uh so why is this our, our lesson? Because uh you will learn here how to do your chords when you are on a different position. <clears throat> okay, so since we are in a G position, now you know that you can actually play. A C major chord, a C major chord, even if you are on the G position. Okay? 
So those are what you called. Uh, uh, how do you say this? No, no, wait, wait. <clears throat> I I can't tell it to you first because it will be confusing. <laughs> anyway, this position is very important, so you don't have to keep moving your hand. Okay, you do you don't uh, you don't go back to C position, then you go back to G position. You understand? Okay, the following diagram shows how easy it is to move from the G major chord to the C major chord. Look at this. When you do a block chord, when you do a block chord G major and a C major, so it's easier. You don't have to move your hand. You just need to adjust it. Okay, can you please play G major chord and C major chord? What? No. G major to C major chord. Chord, block chord on your left hand. What? Block chord. Left hand, left hand. Where's your left hand? Where's your left hand? Where's your left hand? That's not your left hand. There. No. You don't need to move. You're on a G position. You're in the G position. Daniel, G position. Go back, G position. Go back to G position. Okay, now do the C major chord. No, don't move on your G position. What, what you need to do is press, you have to press G, C, E. So from G, B, D, press G, C, E. Okay, don't move. Don't go back to your C major chord, the normal C major chord. One more time. One more time. Go. C major. Don't move. You don't need to move. Oh, look here. Look here. I'm going to do my C major, my G major. So our G major chord is G. Okay, that's G, B, D. Right? Now I'm going to do the C major chord without moving my hand on that position. I'm going to do G, C, E. You understand? One more time. Yes. Okay, go back to G. G. G first, G. Go to G first. G. G. Then G, C, E. Do you understand, Danielle? Yes. Yes, you have to make sure you understand, okay? I say you were moving your uh, your C major. You don't have to go down or go up. Okay, you just need to stay on your G major position. Then, see that one? Can you see this? Okay, from this, this, and this, you just need to do this. Okay, look at that one. Okay, so you don't have to move. That's the idea. Don't have to move your hand because more, more uh, if you move more in playing, actually more movement, more mistakes. Okay, so it's better to do the shortcut. <laughs> okay, practice changing your G chord to C chord. Okay, I want you to do that. Okay, here we go. Warm up using G, D7, and C chord. So we already have three chords here. Okay, it will be this will be our last uh, page for today. Okay, have to listen because you will have more chords already. Now you're going to play three chords already. So the G, the C, and the D7. This will be on the G position. Huh? Remember, this will still be on your G position. Okay. So this is a block chord of G and a broken chord. Block, broken, blah, blah, blah. 
Okay, so G first. Then broken chord of G. Then C, back chord. Listen first before you... Listen first. Listen. So this is C. Broken chord of C. D7, block chord. So that's F sharp, C, and D. F sharp, C, and D. That's a block chord, then broken chord. Then go back to G, broken. G. Okay, I want you to look at this. So block chord. Broken chord of G. Okay, now let's go to C. Block chord. Broken chord. D7. Block chord, then broken chord. Then you go back to G. Okay. I want you to try this one only. This is for your left hand. Go. Go, Daniel. G. Then, note, broken chord. Broken chord. Boom, bum, bum. Mm -hmm. Come on, do it. Do it properly, please. Go. Then go to C. Broken chord, C. D7. Broken chord, D7. G. And G. Can you please watch this again? G. Broken chord. Then, what's the next chord? C. Broken chord, C. Same notes, same notes, Daniel. Then go to D7. Broken chord. F sharp, F sharp, F sharp. What's the wrong notes? F sharp, one more time. F sharp. Go, go. Broken chord. Broken chord. Broken chord. No, 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 no. Danielle, you have to understand broken chord and block chord, okay? When you do a block chord, you play them together. When you do a broken chord, you have to do the uh, play them separately. Or this kind of way. Okay? You play this way. So this is a D7 chord, then you play this on the broken chord also. Then G. Okay. Do you understand, Daniel? Not together separately. Same same chords but separate. Good. Next chord C. Next, D7. Broken chord. F sharp, F sharp, F sharp. Good. Mm -mm -mm. Here, you're here. Practice this one first because the next song will do that pattern. Go. Cool. Do it properly. Hmm. 
There's a repeat sign. Repeat it. Go. Don't worry, this is the last one. Mm, you're not playing the broken part. Chord, then broken part. Chord. This one is in three, four. So one, two, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two. Okay, uh, notice that one, Daniel, you have to notice when you do your broken chord, you press first this one and the second. Okay, you don't press all of them. Because it will still be a block chord. Do you understand? Okay, I want you to practice your uh, G, D7, and C chords. Okay, that will be your assignment. And you can actually uh, read this one if you are already ready, okay? But you have to practice this pattern first because that is will that will be your pattern on this new song. Actually, you're you're doing a lot of uh, you you're doing a lot of things here already. You're you have. Uh, what do you call this? What do you call uh, that? Slur. Slur. Okay, that's a slur. How about this one? What do you call this? Look here. What do you call this? Hi. Hi. Good job. How about this? What do you call this? Block. Mm hmm. No, this one. Wall. What? Sorry. Wait. What is what sign is this? What sign is this? Um. We were we were talking about that one. What sign is this? Hi. Huh? I forgot. What? I forgot. You forgot. It's for the pedal. Um, Remember? So when in this part, yeah. you have to pedal down and up. hold your pedal until is here and pedal up. Is it a damp? Yes, a damper pedal. Damper pedal. Not damp, huh? Not damp. <laughs> it's not damp. Damper. Okay. Okay, your assignment is from... Okay, actually, we did a lot today. Your assignment will be from pages 35, right? 35 to what? 39. Yeah, 35 to 39. Okay. All right, Danielle. You did can you go. See, did, do you see balloons in the background? No. Oh, yeah. I thought it was a watermelon. Watermelon <laughs> on your floor. Is it a uh, balloon? Why do you have a balloon? Uh, I think a few days ago it was my sister's birthday. Oh, that's good. Okay, that's your assignment. Daniel, okay, I'll see you next week. Bye. Bye-bye.